Hi everybody, great to be able to join you again. Uh, today I'm sat in the home of Kate and uh, in just a little while um, we're going to begin to chat about something that we're really excited about. Um, but you know, it, we honestly believe in prayer, that without prayer we cannot see anything achieved and anything accomplished. So Kate, we are really excited aren't we because um, in a few weeks time we are going to have a week of Prayer. Prayer. What day is that going to be, Kate? Yeah, we're starting that on March the 6th, and that Sunday morning we're going to start with a dwell, which is a time of praise and prayer and just allowing God to move by His Holy Spirit in the meeting. And then so we'll that's going to be on a Sunday morning? Sunday morning, and yeah. that's going to kind of be our launch into the week of prayer, isn't it? Yeah. And um, during that week, obviously, we're encouraging everybody to pray, aren't we? Yeah. In lots of different ways. I know that we are looking and encouraging people as well, maybe to follow a bit of example of Daniel and pray three times a day. Yeah. Do you want to explain a bit more about that? Yeah, that would be great. Um, yeah, in, if you read in Daniel, um, he prayed three times a day. and. We just thought it might be a good idea that not just to start our morning with prayer when we wake up and end our day with prayer, but what about just taking that time at lunchtime and perhaps say the Lord's Prayer, just give that focus back to God in the middle of the day when our life is quite busy. Brilliant. So obviously there'll be lots of individual praying that takes place during that week. But also we've got some times where we want to open up the building for people to come and pray. So I know we've got a prayer room. Do you want to just explain a little bit about yeah. that? Yeah, we're going to have a room um, down in the building um, open from 10 till 4 during the day uh, from Monday through till Saturday, where um, if you want to come in and pray, pray. Um, about specific things on your heart but also we're going to have a map of rugby in there and some information about rugby because we want to think about praying for rugby too in our communities. Um, there'll be some music in there, some worship music if you want to put it on and we'll have a prayer journal then so if you want to put down anything that God shares with you uh, to share with us then we'd love to hear about that as well. Brilliant. So people will be able to come there as individuals or maybe couples or yeah. maybe even a group of friends yeah. and could come into the prayer room to pray. I know during that week as well, we're encouraging all of our life groups to spend time uh, praying, maybe together in homes and also and uh, maybe going out and prayer walking as well. We'll come back to that in just a minute or two. But during that week as well, we have some kind of corporate things that we're going to try to do together and pray on the Tuesday night and on the Thursday evening as well. Do you want to try and quickly explain yeah. what's happening on Tuesday, Thursday? Yeah. On Tuesday, what we want to do is to actually uh, go and pray around the churches of rugby. We won't be able to get around all of them, but we will go in our cars to specific churches and stand outside and pray for them and pray for the Holy Spirit to impact those churches just as he's impacting ours currently. Uh, we want to be united in that, to have the whole uh, town of rugby uh, really impacted by what the Holy Spirit's doing. Brilliant. And then on the Thursday evening? Yeah, Thursday night we want to come together and have a time of prayer and praise where we just worship God, perhaps hear some testimonies of what God's doing in people's lives and pray for specific things, perhaps a country, for rugby itself and for us as individuals. Brilliant. It's going to be a great week of prayer. It really is. I think the last time that you and I chatted like this on camera, uh, we talked about prayer walking, didn't we? And I know we've tried to encourage people to do that. And we've heard people that have been going out and prayer walking their community, which is absolutely amazing. But I know that I got really excited and shared with you the news that actually the church right across rugby is going to be mobilized into prayer walking during yeah. Lent. So um, beginning um, on Sunday, the 27th of February, um, from that day onwards, the church is going to be mobilized right across rugby to, and it's called Bless Rugby. And the desire of that is that everybody who is a follower of Jesus would take the opportunity to go and prayer walk our community and pray for the blessing of God to come. There is going to be an app and uh, we will let you know the details regards to that app. And also Sunday the 27th, there's going to be the launch event. And that launch event is where we're going to call the church together 
right across rugby to come and stand together to pray to worship and then we will be sent out and i'm believing aren't we kate we're yeah. believing that we're going to see god answer in prayer as yeah. the church is mobilized in a place yeah. of prayer so we're really excited about all this aren't we kate absolutely i can't believe what's happening and God is really moving here here in rugby and we just need to be a part of it because we don't want to miss out. When God moves, he does some great stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So we're believing for a great move yeah. of God. One of the things that impressed me really recently is that when we move, God moves and that God is drawn to movement and it's great to know that we are moving forward, but we're moving forward in and out of a place of prayer. So we really want to encourage you, join us in this amazing week of prayer and join us as we are part of the rugby churches together, praying blessing upon rugby. So thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for listening to us. And thanks, Kate, for joining us. Very welcome.